How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary and in this video what we're talking about is some news and information about the next two DLC rec drops for Halo 5. So if you enjoy these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button let me know if you want to see more content like this you know leave a comment down below what you guys think about the hog wild uh wreck drop that's going to come here pretty soon as well as warzone firefight which i'm super excited about oh yes can't wait for that and if you're new to the channel tap the subscribe button because i'm always uploading awesome halo content so recently posted on halo waypoint was the full wreck release of hog wild and Hogwiles can be released on the 31st of May. So I'm here, I'm going to show you some screenshots of all the wrecks that are coming to Halo 5. Not really a whole lot of content, but that's because a lot of, apparently, a lot of the Hogwild content needed to be some final polishing happening. So they're going to push it off to the Warzone Firefight release, which is actually going to mention now that's going to be coming towards the end of June. So we have that to look forward to. So probably the last week of June is when we're going to be seeing the Warzone Firefight. And this is going to be pretty awesome. So we got a chance to look at some of the new Warhogs that were com coming. We have the legendary Vespin Rocket War Warhog, which essentially is an advanced and deadly rocket hog with high acceleration rockets and faster reload time. And it looks like freaking Bumblebee from the uh, Transformers. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. We also have the Rally Hog, which is advanced and highly durable high speed hog with greatly increased speed and heavy armor so just a faster more durable regular war hog which looks pretty cool as well so it looks, that looks like a fun kind of hog as well they didn't mention anything about the needler hog which i'm kind of uh the sword needler hog i'm kind of interested how that's going to work because the turret looks exactly the same on uh, the regular war hog but Hey, maybe if it shoots needler shots, that's kind of a cool variation of a warhog. You also get a chance to see that we have a starfire visor, which looks very similar to a bunch of other visors that we have. I don't know why they keep them going with the same kind of variation of like the purpley blue visors. Some new body pieces here. We have some new. Um, so then they also have the new sight coming in, which they're calling them the hybrid versions. So we have an SNG, AR, BR, and DMR. All with the carbine ADS side on it. We're actually getting a brand new camo as well, call, calling the A room, all room. I guess you call it all room. <laughs> yes, it's kind of like a variation on that same kind of gold uh, look on your gun. It has nice kind of fade to it. You can see a nice here, shot here on the DMR. You also get a chance to see the new armor sets of the Stinger armor, which kind of looks like some weird Cyclops looking thing. And you have the Inceptor Rictus armor, which actually looks pretty badass. I would wear that if I had rec points. <laughs> a big Warzone update has happened as well called the Warzone Boss Refresh. And I'll try to summarize this the best I can. So essentially, we all know that most Warzone matches play out the exact same, where the same bosses spawn in the same locations every single time. Well, now that since the 343 has been working on Warzone Firefight, they've been able to implement some aspects of that game mode into Warzone itself. Uh, for example here, uh, Patrick, uh, Wren, Patrick Wren, the multiplayer designer, mentions, for example, on Apex 7, at the two minute mark, you know, we're used to the Zealot Assassin boss in the caves. But then now there's also this option that a Ranger Commander and his squad dropped off at the beaches. So not only will we have a variation on bosses, uh, where they spawn and who you're actually fighting against, but now players who defeat these bosses will have the chance of collecting and using these unique weapons uh, like wreck cards. In addition to Warzone Firefight is boss difficulty progression within a match and round to round in Firefight. No more identical looking but variable toughness enemies. And here's one I yeah, like mentioned before I'm really excited about is, uh, have enemies fire interesting weapons at you when they're playing Warzone Firefight. And then they drop the weapons when they die so you can actually pick them up and use them. So for they you say here for example the uh, Mythic Knight Battle Wagon will use and drop the Didex Signet, which is actually a variation of the Scatter Shot. So you get to use cool new rack weapons that you may not normally get a chance to use 
within Firefight. So I am excited for that. That's one thing I actually really wanted to see with Warzone Firefight. So here's just a quick update for you guys about the Hogwild and Warzone Firefight. So if you enjoyed these news and informational video videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about the Hogwild new content and Warzone Firefight editions as well because I'm super excited for it. Also, tap the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. If you want to see more details about this update, I have a link down below for the uh, Halo Waypoint uh, forum. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.